Hello I am Professor Yu, and today on Technically Yu we will be providing you a brief description of web application firewalls. What is a web application firewall, WAF? A WAF or web application firewall is a reverse proxy that protect web applications by filtering and monitoring HTTP traffic between a web application and the internet. It typically protects web applications from attacks and exploits, such as cross-site forgery, cross-site scripting, XSS, file inclusion, and SQL injection, broken authentication, XML external entities, XXE, broken access controls, insecure deserialization, and security misconfiguration. A WAF is a protocol layer 7 defense and is not designed to defend against all types of attacks but it can mitigate a specific range of attack vectors and work with other tools or software to create a highly secure environment for your server. By deploying a WAF in front of a web application, a shield is placed between the web application and the internet. While a proxy server protects a client machine's identity by using an intermediary, a WAF is a type of reverse proxy, protecting the server from exposure by having clients pass through the WAF before reaching the server. By operating solely on the perimeter, WAFs have no impact on the application itself outside of any traffic they block. A WAF operates through a set of rules often called policies. These policies aim to protect against vulnerabilities in the application by filtering out malicious traffic. The value of a WAF comes in part from the speed and ease with which policy modification can be implemented, allowing for faster response to varying attack vectors. During a DDoS attack, rate limiting can be quickly implemented by modifying WAF policies. What are WAF blacklist and whitelist? Blacklist firewall. Blacklist firewall operates against common attacks using a negative security model. A blacklist firewall are also known as blocklist. Whitelist firewall. Whitelist firewall allows only traffic that has been pre-approved to enter the website, positive security model. A whitelist is also known as an allow list. Both types have their advantages and drawback, which is why the recommended method is to implement a hybrid security model, which offers advantages of both types of firewalls. Different way of WAF deployments. Network-based. A network-based WAF is generally hardware-based. Since they are installed locally they minimize latency, but network-based WAFs are the most expensive option and also require the storage and maintenance of physical equipment. Hosted-based. A host-based WAF may be fully integrated into an application's software. This solution is less expensive than a network-based WAF and offers more customizability. The downside of a host-based WAF is the consumption of local server resources, implementation complexity, and maintenance costs. These components typically require engineering time and may be costly. Cloud-based. Cloud-based WAFs offer an affordable option that is easy to implement, they usually offer a turnkey installation that is as simple as a change in DNS to redirect traffic. Cloud-based WAFs also have a minimal upfront cost, as users pay monthly or annually for security as a service. Cloud-based WAFs can also offer a solution that is consistently updated to protect against the newest threats, without any additional work or cost on the user's end. The drawback of a cloud-based WAF is that users hand over their responsibility to a third party. WAF, if set up properly and maintained, it is well suited for defending against basic types of application threats and can provide a lot of value if used in conjunction with other methods of defense. This is our technical brief for today. Thank you for watching if you found this topic interesting hit the subscribe button now.